Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make pan fried chicken momos. They are so crispy from the lower side and steamed from the upper side. The stuffing is also very 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 tasty. They are so soft and juicy from the inner side as you can see. And along with momos, I am going to show the recipe of tomato chutney for momos. It's also very 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 tasty. So guys, the recipe is also very easy. So let's see the recipe. For making yummy tomato chutney for momos, I have taken 3 medium sized tomatoes, 3 to 4 red chilies according to taste and 2 inches of tamarind without seeds along with 1 tablespoon of vinegar and I have kept them for boiling with some water. We need to boil the tomatoes until they are cooked 100% and in the meantime I have taken some chicken keema. I ran some boneless chicken pieces in the mixer and now it's very smooth as you can see. And now I'm going to make the stuffing for momos. We need some veggies and some spices for marination. So at first I'm taking some green chilies. Two green chilies I have taken. Finely chopped. Added it and now I'm taking about half cup of carrot. Finely chopped. Added it and now some capsicum. About one fourth cup of capsicum. Finely chopped. Some spring onions. You may take any kind of veggies as you like, there is no problem. And now some fresh coriander leaves, finely chopped. And now it's time to add spices, so half teaspoon of black pepper powder, half teaspoon of coriander seeds powder, about one teaspoon of garam masala, half teaspoon of roasted cumin seeds powder, 1 teaspoon of white vinegar, 1 teaspoon of dark soy sauce, salt according to taste, about 1 teaspoon of salt I am taking and now I am mixing a little and along with this we need to add some ginger garlic paste or crush. I am adding crushed ginger garlic, 1 tablespoon full but you may take the paste there is no problem. Now we need to mix everything very nicely. And we need to keep it for marination for about half an hour or you may keep it in the fridge for about 5 to 6 hours. So everything is mixed up well. Now I am going to cover the bowl and keep it in the fridge for about half an hour. In the meantime we need to make the dough. So I have taken 2 cups of flour. I am taking all purpose flour but you may take the wheat flour there is no problem. I added some salt in it and I am adding some oil cooking oil. I am mixing everything well with my hand and after that we need to make a dough with some water. We need to add water little by little. Don't add too much water at a time to maintain the thickness of the dough. So add water gradually and knead a dough. It should be a little harder than the dough for chapati or uh, roti. So let's make the dough. Our dough should be very smooth like this. So my dough is ready. It's actually neither very soft like the dough for roti or chapati nor very hard. It's like the dough for puri or paratha. So guys let's cover the bowl for about 10 to 15 minutes and after that we'll make the momos. So guys after about 15 minutes I'm going to make the momos. So I have taken a surface, rolling surface and rolling pin. I'm taking a tiffin carrier for cutting the momos, uh, cutting the puris uh, in a round shape. So here is our dough. We need some dry flour for dusting. So now I am taking a little portion from the dough and I have taken some dry flour as you can see. I am taking a little portion just like making a puri. So here it is. Let's make a puri for the momo. We need to dust some dry flour on it and roll the puri. I mean the momo sheet. The momo sheet should not be thicker than roti or chapati. It should be thinner than that. So it's ready. It's quite round but still I'm going to cut it in a round shape. So our momo sheet is ready. I'm going to add the excess sheet in the dough and I'll reuse it for making a new momo sheet. And here is our stuffing. So let's add stuffing in the momo sheet. Don't add too much stuffing in the sheet because we need to close the momo 
nicely. So I am adding this quantity of stuffing in the momo sheet and now I am going to close it. You may close in any design, there is no problem, just close the momo. So I am making this kind of design and uh, it seems easy to me. You can also follow this design. So our first momo is ready. But uh, the size is not so cute. So I am taking a scissor and uh, I am cutting the upper part, making it smooth. And now it is looking too cute as you can see. So our first momo is ready. I am going to show you two other designs for making momos. So I am rolling another puri, another momo sheet, cutting it in round shape. And after that, I am adding some stuffing in the momo sheet and closing it. So I am showing the design for closing the momo, another design. It's okay. Now I am going to make a sack for the momo, just like closing the momo like a sack, like this. So it's also a design and it's also very cute. You may follow it. So guys, our second momo is also ready. And now I am going to show the third design of momos. So I am closing like this, the front part. And now like this. And now I am going to close the two edges of the momo. like this and it's dry now so i'm adding some water to make it wet like this and it's perfectly closed now it's looking like a matka or handi so you may call it matka design or handi design so our third design of momo is ready so guys let's make all the momos so here I have made some of my momos and now I am going to steam them. Not proper steam, I mean to say pan frying and steaming at the same time. And you may see the designs. I have made the first design for all of the momos and two are exceptional. So guys let's go for the process of frying and steaming. So I have taken a frying pan and now I will brush some oil in the pan. This is the first procedure for frying. So I am brushing some oil. And after that, I'll place some momos in the frying pan. The heat is on low now, but you may fry them on medium to low heat or medium heat until they're crispy from the lower side. But I'm going to fry them on low heat. So now I'm covering the pan for about two to three minutes on low heat. And after three minutes, the lower side of the momos are little fried and little crispy. So now we need to add some water. Don't add too much water at a time. I am adding only a little quantity of water and now I am going to cover the pan on low heat. After about 5 to 6 minutes we need to uncover the pan and check the water is dried up or not. If the water is dried up we need to add some more water for steaming. And we need to continue this process for about 20 minutes on low heat. So after about 5 to 6 minutes this is the texture of my frying pan. The water is dried up so I am adding some more water. And after about another 5 to 6 minutes, I'll repeat the process. And after about 20 minutes of steaming in total, our momos are ready. So now I'm going to take them out in a plate. They're so crispy from the lower side and properly steamed from the upper side. And they're very, very, very tasty, very yummy and juicy from the inner side. So I'm taking them out and in the same process, we need to steam the rest of the momos. After removing the first batch, I am cleaning the frying pan a little and after that I am going to brush some oil again and put the second batch of momos for frying and steaming. So let's do the same process again. So guys let's make the chutney for momos. I am taking some cloves of garlic and the boiled tomatoes and all of the things are nicely cooled down. They are normal in temperature now. So now I am adding the tomatoes in the mixer jar. You may remove the peel if you don't like it, but uh, I'm not going to peel them off. So I'm adding the tomatoes in the mixer jar, the red chilies and the tamarind also. 
and along with all of the things we need to add some salt and sugar so i'm adding about half teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of sugar and i'm gonna use some stock water of tomatoes for grinding the chutney so this is the water and i'm adding a little water from it so now we need to make a smooth paste so our chutney is ready we need to check the salt and sugar after checking i'm adding a little quantity of uh, salt and sugar again and now i'm going to grind it again run the mixer for a while and our chutney is ready let's take it out in a bowl and i'm going to wash the mixer jar with the leftover water of tomatoes and add it in the chutney to avoid wastage of chutney so guys our yummy and tasty tomato chutney for momos is ready let's mix it and uh, i'm taking a little portion in a bowl in a small bowl for serving So here it is. So guys, let's serve the momos with the chutney. So guys, our pan fried super yummy, super tasty momos or dumplings are ready with the super yummy and spicy chutney. And the recipe is not so hard. So guys, try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. I'm showing you the lower side of the momos and they are very crispy as you can see. And I'm breaking a momo. To show you that uh, the inner side is so much juicy and soft. So guys, here it is. It's very juicy, soft and 100% cooked. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.